everything weird. Hi guys, it's me Keith. Um, welcome to another tutorial. So this time we're going to create or we are going to use a particular software. The name of the software that we're going to use is Corel Draw. So it's like a vector graphic application. So I'm just going to do this one in Taglish version so that for those who want it in Tagalog, they will be able to understand it. And for those who want it in English, same thing. Okay, so since I'm having a hard time speaking in fluent Tagalog, so let's go. First, you need to have your CorelDRAW installed with you. I have in here my CorelDRAW 2017, so I'm going to use this one. There. We're just going to skip this part. There you go. So this is how CorelDRAW 2017 looks like. Now, CorelDRAW is a vector graphic application. Now, when we say vector graphic, it deals with fields and solids, which means we are dealing with something that we are going to draw, not necessarily something that we are going to edit from a particular picture. So just imagine that one as if ever you're going to create um, logos, if ever you're going to create drawings, digital drawings, so just like this one that we have right now in our screen. So that's how it works. Okay, so let's start with uh how do you call this one um create a new file so click on file then click on new so under new so we have a new window in here so pwede po natin change your name so the name will be let's say for example this is just a sample i'm going to name this one as graphic one then we have different sizes in here to choose from depending on ano yung gusto nyo size na gagawin for example if you want to create a business card then you can use this one the templates or the size templates for now i'm just going to use the letter which is the default so the width is 8.5 and the height is 11. so the rendering resolution is 300 dots per inch so we don't need to change that one just click on ok then this is the environment now first is introduce ko po kayo sa mga panels na meron tayo. So first we have the file menu bar. This is the panel from which it is present in all Microsoft Windows applications and programs. So if ever you're going to install a program or a particular application, then makikita po natin siya. So hindi po siya mahirap intindihin. Next is we have the quick links panel. So the quick links panel is just like underneath the uh, file menu panel. So, para rin siyang file menu, kaya lang, pag mabilisan, if ever gusto mo i-access agad, let's say yung open, yung new, magkikita mo agad pati cut, copy, and paste. Okay? So, as we go on naman ng exercises natin, magkagamit natin yan. Next is, we have this one. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na toolbar. So, si toolbar naman po, if ever you're going to point on each tool, mapapansin po natin, lalabas po yung tinatawag natin na description of each tool. So for example, if I'm going to point, put point in here, ang nakalagay po dyan sa tool tip is shape tool with a shortcut key of F10. Okay? So also, makikita po natin yung description kung ano yung kaya niyang gawin. So it can manipulate nodes, curves, and objects. So as we go on with the tutorial, malalaman niyo po yun. Okay, then, dito naman po sa taas, ang tawag dito is properties bar. Bakit po siya tinawag na properties bar? It's because it is uh, entailed or kumbaga related with what is in the tools in here. So for example po, if ever I'm going to click on this tool, this is zoom tool. Pag clinic ko po siya, magbabago po yung property. Which means kung ano po yung object na kiniklik natin, Doon din po nagre-rely yung property ng bawat tool na yun. So parang for example, uh, sa isang pako. So let's say for example, sa isang pako, meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng pako. May mga sizes, meron types of nails, di ba? Something like that. So yun po yung property na tinatawag. Ang pako po is a tool. So whatever. Now next is, for example, the rectangle tool. If ever you're going to click on that one, automatically mo change po yung tools na nakikita natin or yung properties na nakikita natin for that tool. Uh, next is we have this one, the color swatches window. Now the color swatches window, so it's like if ever you're going to change the color of each of 
the objects here, dito po natin titignan. So, let's say, if I'm going to check on additional colors, i-click ko lang po itong nakalagay dito na default palette expansion po siya. So, in here, you will be able to see the different colors that we can choose. Okay, so, let's say if you're not satisfied with the first color set of colors, then you can use the second set of colors and the third set of colors and so on. Depending po sa gusto ninyo. Now, let's try using the palettes. For example, if I'm going to click on this tool, this one is a, an ellipse tool. So, click on the ellipse tool, highlight, drag, there you go. Now, mapapansin po natin, pag drag po siya, hindi po siya perfect ellipse or perfect circle. So, to make it a perfect circle, all you need to do is just to press your CTRL key on your keyboard or control key on your keyboard. Click, there you go. So, wherever you are going to drag it, automatically perfect po yung circle natin. Then, release it. If you want to provide a color for it, dito po natin titignan. Let's say if I'm going to change this one to sky blue, there you go. Now, if you want to change the outline, i-click lang po natin yung area na to under properties since we are dealing with a particular property of this tool. So, click po natin dito, there you go. If you want to change the thickness again, so something like thicker, there you go. Okay, any questions? Of course, you can ask questions. If you want to change the outline color, dito po natin siya makikita sa baba. So you're just going to double click on that one. Meron po dito outline pen. So you can just change it from here. Then, pag okay na po, click nyo lang okay. There you go. So that is how you're going to manipulate a particular shape. This is just a sample po. So we are still not on the exercise proper. So since we already have an idea on how to use this one, so the next idea is on how we're going to save it. So to save it, click on File, we have Save As. So if ever you're going to click on Save As, you can save it anywhere you want. So let's say if I'm going to save it on my desktop, there are different types for it to be saved. If you want it to be saved as Adobe Illustrator or Corando, it's okay. Depende po. Then click on Save. Now, if you're done saving it and you want to export it into something like a PNG file or a logo, let's say for example with transparent background, Click po natin yung file, then click on export. Then we have multiple uh, formats here to choose from. So the primary one is PNG or Portable Network Graphic, then click on export. Then wait for a new window will appear, then click OK. Then that's it. You are able to create your very first PNG logo in Corel. So that's the very basic guys. So wait for part 2 of this tutorial. Hey, bye for now. Everything